Hey guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, bringing you episode 9 of Practical Drupal Development. In this episode, we are going to be talking all about the Image Field Focus module, which is going to give us a significantly greater amount of control over the area that image styles crops out of our image. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download this module, extract it into Sites All Modules, and once you have that done, let's head back over to our Drupal site. Now, you'll notice one thing that has changed between this video and the last one, and that is that I have uploaded new images to the homepage slider. Reason being is that we are going to define some minimum constraints that uh, these images must have in order to be uploaded to our, Im our Drupal site. Any image that does not meet those minimum specifications will be rejected by Drupal. And the images that I had before just weren't big enough. Now, the weird thing about Drupal is if you define those minimum constraints after you have uploaded your image, it will not delete the image that you currently have. It just won't work for certain things. So I went ahead and I just made some new images and I uploaded them to the Drupal site. Now you'll notice that they don't look too bad, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to alter them slightly. So let's head on over to modules and let's get image field focus turned on. If we scroll down, we should find it here, right here in other. Go ahead and check it to turn it on and save configuration. Alrighty, once that's done, we're going to close down the modules list, let Drupal refresh itself, and we are going to head to configurations, media, and back into image styles. Let's find our homepage slider image style. Alrighty. So now, what we did in the last tutorial is we told um, image styles to take our homepage slider image style, scale the image up to a width of 960 and then crop it down to 960 by 400. Now this, as we saw, didn't give us a whole lot of control over what got cropped out. Um, so what we're going to do now instead from this select list is select the focus scale and crop option that is now available to us through uh, image field focus. And here we are going to define both the width, which is 960, and the height of 400 that we want this image to be sized to. And then we're going to add the effect. Now, if we leave all of this stuff in our image style, we are going to potentially have some very strange results. So we are going to get rid of the scale and the crop and we are going to let the image field focus module take care of doing both of those items. So let's go ahead and delete those out. And update the style. Close that down. And we'll see that nothing really has changed. Um, if we click edit slide here, we don't really have any extra options like we were talking about of how to scale this image where we want it and where to crop it out. And that's because there is one more step that we need to take. Um, if we head back to structure, content types, our homepage slider, manage fields, and then click on our image here, we need to define several things within this image we need to give it the maximum or the minimum image resolution for these images, which is just going to match our image style of 960 by 400. Now, Drupal, this is the portion where Drupal will reject any images that do not meet these minimum constraints. And this is why I created these new images so that they would meet the constraints. And now, like I said, it will leave the old images on there. It's just when it comes to the focus scale and crop stuff, if the image doesn't really truly meet the minimum, then it it just doesn't end up looking right. Um, this is also a very good technique to use, even if you're not using the image field focus module. 
if you you build a homepage slider for your clients and they just won't look right if you're blowing up images that are too small. Um, you can come in here and you can set these uh, minimum image resolutions and then Drupal just won't let them upload an image that is probably going to get distorted and won't look right. So it's just kind of a nice thing even if you're not using this module to just ensure that uh, your end user's Drupal site isn't going to look bad when they upload images. All right, if we scroll down, we have a new section here called focus settings. We're going to click that and open it up. We are going to enable the focus field. And then here we are going to insert the minimum size, which is going to match the, uh, the dimensions that we set up for our homepage slider. And what this is going to do is this will not allow us to select a crop region out of our image that is less than these dimensions. Um, and this will make more sense when we get over back to selecting the regions within our image. We are going to lock the aspect ratio so that we cannot distort this image. Um, we don't want them to select a crop region that is 960 by 500. We want them to select one that is proportionately 960 by 400. Now they can select a crop region that is larger than that. Um, and then it will scale it down. But if we don't lock the aspect ratio, they can select very strange crop regions. And then when it scales it to fit in that content area, it just really doesn't look right. So these are things that are just preventative measures that will ensure that your Drupal site will function in the best way that it possibly can and that it will look the best that it possibly can um, by not allowing these minor small things that will distort and just kind of make your site look a little ugly. So make sure you have that turned on. And once that's done, click save and close that down. Drupal will once again refresh itself as it always does. And now if we click edit slide, you'll see something new has appeared. And it's this giant box here that is just a representation of the image. If you click on that, you'll get this little, uh, rectangle here. And what this is, is the area that we are going to choose to crop out of this image. Now, when you initially click in it, it will be the largest or the smallest that it possibly can. So if you try to shrink this down, it won't let you because we specified in the content type that the minimum focus region that we can select is 960 by 400. Reason being, we don't want to just crop down to the ST and then have the ST blown up to 960 by 400. That won't look good. But you will notice that we can select larger portions of this image, which will then allow us to shrink this down, and that won't look so bad. Um, and it is a proportionate growth. That's why we locked the aspect ratio so that this will proportionately scale down to 960 by 400 and it will always look good. But to show this module off a little bit, we are going to shrink this down and we are just going to crop the bottom region out of this image. Now it's going to look a little funny because we're going to have some black here and that's not exactly what we want it to do. We'd probably want to show all of this. But for demonstration purposes, we are going to just crop this region out. Um, click Save. And once the site refreshes, you'll notice that we're now just showing the region that we decided we wanted to crop. So let's head back to the second slide here and edit this one. And on this one, we're just going to crop out the word Stop here and save that. And now you'll see that unlike before, and sometimes image field focus screws up a little bit and it requires a refresh, a manual refresh of the site in order to get its position data. So if you ever crop out a section and it's just not working, just go ahead and hit refresh first and make sure that it's just not that Drupal needs to refresh itself to get the proper image because now you can see that it's working just fine. Um, but unlike when we just specified our old image style, this neither of these images is cropping from the center. And in fact, this one's cropping from the bottom, and the second one is cropping from the top. So it's allowing us to pick which region of the image we want to crop out. Now, this is extremely useful when you have images with 
people in them, specific objects that you want to show. It ensures that people's heads don't get cut off or that it scales down and misses what it is that you're actually trying to show. Um, so it's a good module all around and that doesn't have to be applied to every single content type on your site. If you don't need the focus scale and crop, then you just don't add it and you use a standard image style. But it does, like I said, ensure that you're not cutting people's heads off in images or that you're just scaling and cropping to regions that don't make any sense at all. So with that, let's go ahead and edit these to make them look a little bit nicer. Um, I just wanted to crop those regions out so that we could have a demonstration of how it would look. Um, and what we're going to do here is we are going to see how much of this we can get in. And it looks like we can get the whole thing, so we'll save that. We will move to slide number two and edit that, and we will do the same thing for this one. Now, I know that you will not have the one-stop images here, so you'll want to pick sections that make sense for your images, um, whether you're doing a tutorial series like this, or you're just building a website for your personal blog, or if you're building one for a client. Um, just pick the sections of your images that make the most sense. All right, and we probably have, no, didn't have the refresh issue there. So now our homepage slider is done for this portion of the series. We will come back to it to make it look nicer when we get to the theming portion of this series, but we have finally completed our homepage slider. It's ready to go, and we're ready to move on to the next section of building our website. So if you like this video, make sure you like it, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in episode 10 of Practical Drupal Development. Later, guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.